All right, we're gonna rip through some IPPT conversation and explain this in a very simplistic way. IPPT is inch per pound turned. There's a engineering mathematical equation behind this. It takes into consideration the drum, the height of a door, and the weight, how many pounds that thing weighs. Also in here is Maybe there's a lift clearance, maybe it's a vertical lift, maybe it's normal headroom. All that stuff goes into creating the inch per pound turn need. So if we have a nine by eight door that's sitting here and I'm just pulling out numbers, let's say this thing weighs a certain amount of pounds and you've got the, I don't know, Rainer 1004, five, six inch drum you can input that into Service Spring app and get an inch per pound turn. Now maybe that IPT is 114 and that's what's needed, right? A lot of us might have stock springs and a spring chart. And so we can go down the road and be like, all right, we're gonna do two springs on this. That means I need 57, 67, <laughs> do the math on there. And then you're gonna find the springs that work. And so I might be able to say, if I'm using two inch ID, which that spring chart is in my hands, then I'm gonna use, you know, potentially a pair of 273 at 56 and a half. And that's gonna give me really dang close. If we're within three IPPT, that generally plays to balance it out. Now, the one thing I wanna make clear here is I can get this same IPPT with like a, maybe a 218 eight inch spring, but now I'm taking metal away. And so IPP does not correlate to cycle life. Cycle life has the amount of metal, it's the simplest way I can do it. The more metal we can put on a door, the more cycle life we can gain. If I need 114 IPVT, I can do that with a 273 wire. And if I'm doing that, that's at 36 inch, right? So I've got my length, the 36 inch, I could do it with a 273 wire. I could do that same IPPT with a 225 wire. I could do it with a 235 wire, but that's gonna be less cycle life. If I go up to a 283 wire, or if I increase the ID and I get a bigger spring on there, more metal in a more condensed zone, using a three and a half inch ID or a five and a half inch ID, I can add cycle life and we can take a 10,000 Cycle Life Spring, which is industry standard, bump it up to 25 to 50 to 150,000. This is how some folks are getting those quote unquote lifetime springs in because they're putting amount of metal on the door with the same IPPT as what would come up normally by default in any app. Hope that makes sense. The IPPT works for folks that are stocking regular springs that are having a known IPPT, and now we're just matching and, and playing it out. So we go and find out a door weighs X, you're using X as a drum, and it's this tall with this configuration of track, you're gonna input that to find the IPPT, and then it's just a matter of fairly simplistic math to match up the IPPT. The only thing to consider is the spring wire and the amount of metal that's gonna be on there. And does that hit a 10,000 life cycle? Or does it hit more? Or is it short and less? If it's short and less, maybe that's a temp fix to get that door moving for a very short period of time until we can come back with the correct spring that has that 10,000 cycle life or more.